everyone! Time for another manga review! And today I will be reviewing the manga Change123. Kind of an odd title, but makes sense with the context to the series. The series focuses on, well, I say two people, but really it's five. So the main guy is Hideo, and he's a huge fan of Kamen Raider. People who are not re familiar with Kamen Raider, it's basically a Japanese version of Power Rangers. Anyway, he's pretty much obsessed with it and wants to be a hero like Kamen Raider someday. But in the meantime, he's pretty much just a coward. However, he falls in love with a girl named Motoko, who has a unique secret. She has a split personality disorder, but not an ordinary one. Oh no, hers is way more fun. She was raised by three different martial artists, and their training was so intense that she developed a personality for each type of training. So she has four different personalities. Her own form, Motoko, and then she refers to the other three as Hifumi. Another fun thing about the personalities is they actually change her appearance due to her using different muscles, and she puts her hair into different styles each time she changes. So the two people who created this manga are Sakaguchi Iku, who did the story, and Iwasawa Shiri, who did the art. Yeah, sorry if I butchered their names, but I'm not so good at names. Anyway, it's a 60 chapter manga, so it has a decent length to it, but for any of you veteran readers out there, you should probably be able to finish it in a day or two, depending on how much time you have to read. Yeah. Yeah, I read it pretty fast. And on to the review. So I will be breaking the review into three parts, the story, the art, and the characters. I will give each section a rating out of 10, and then an overall score out of 10 as well. First off is the story. So this story follows Moroko and Hideo, who, and of course the Hifumi. So it's about Hideo learning about the different personalities and coming to like each of them, and them in turn coming to like him. But wait one second, this is not supposed to be a love story. Well, it's not. It, that's just a small part of the story. The m major part is about an organization that's trying to unlock Hifumi's true power. So it's pretty much like any villain from an RPG. They just send wave after wave of increasingly strong opponents to fight against her and make her stronger. However, in their defense, that is kind of what they want. So it's not overly stupid of them. The story is pretty good, but I found a few parts either to drag on or I was like, uh, wait, wait, what just happened? How, who, how are you and who are you and why is everyone acting like you have been a main character since the first chapter? Anyway, a few flaws I personally had with that, so I'm gonna give the story a 7 out of 10. So, moving on to the art of the series, it's quite excellent. The character designs are fantastic and the sense of movement in the art are great. The artists seem to be quite familiar with martial arts stances and movements, which all show through in his art. The backgrounds are fairly basic, but I'm glad that they were done this way. It allowed for a greater focus on the characters. So yeah, art-wise, I would rate this series a 9 out of 10. Finally, we come to the characters. There are many characters in this series, but I'm going to go over the mains. So first off, we have Hideo, a weakling who wants to be strong and able to protect those he cares about, just like his hero, Common Raider. So normally, I don't like weak characters as they just tend to whine a lot, but Hideo has his moments when he sees injustice happening, his Kamen Raider spirit bursts out and he puts himself at risk to save others. Next up, we have Motoko, who I would have to say was my least favorite character since she was the weak-willed person in the series. She didn't want to deal with anything and complained about her problems a lot, just a personal preference and I'm not really a fan of that kind of character. Finally, we have the Hifumi. The reason she's called Hifumi is because 
of the names of her different personality. First off, the he in Hifumi is for Hibiki, who is represented by the color red. She's the expressive tomboy of the group. She was trained in karate, so she's a powerhouse and my second favorite character. The Fu in Hifumi stands for Fujiku, who is represented by the color blue. She's a calm, collected personality who was trained for weapon combat. She was alright, but a little boring at times. So finally, the me in Hifumi stood for my personal favorite character of the series, Mikiri. She is represented by the color yellow and has the childlike personality, who always wants to either eat or just play. She was trained in submissions and grapples. Overall, I would rate the characters of the series an 8 out of 10. So, Change 1, 2, 3, a great read if you're looking for some action and some comedy. I would also like to throw out a mature audience warning on the series since the girls' clothing tend to rip off a little bit. Just a little bit. Or in Mikiri's case, her boobs get bigger and her clothes just fall off entirely. So, yeah, there is a bit of nudity in the manga. Overall, I'm going to rate this series an 8 out of 10. Make sure you go and check it out. If you cannot find a place to buy it, I will leave a link in the description on where you can read it online. But as always, show your support to the creators and buy it if you enjoy it. Thanks for watching everyone. Leave a like and comment and of course subscribe if you enjoyed. Your question for today's video will be what are some other anime or manga series would you like to see me review? Happy reading and watching everyone. See you all next time. Bye!